Hi everyone, how are you? I am back with my March favorites. I am so excited to be filming this video. I have missed filming. It has only been a couple of weeks, but we were in the process of moving and we are finally settled in to our new home. We are so excited. We pretty much unpacked everything except for just a couple of boxes. So I figured now that we are pretty much settled in, I could go ahead and film. My room isn't completely done. I still have to paint it. And I think there might be a little bit of an echo, so I might have to get an area rug since we have wood floors and the lighting might be a little bit of off I just I kind of have to work with everything but I thought I would just go ahead and film a video since I've missed filming so much so thank you so much for all of your kind comments on Facebook Twitter and Instagram you guys are just so sweet and thank you for taking the time to watch my videos while I was away I will get back to answering the comments right away and one more thing that I wanted to mention oh I'm going to change my filming and uploading schedule to just Sundays and Wednesdays with the occasional video on Fridays I usually try to upload three times a week but I think I'm going to cut it back and just do two times a a week and then do the occasional Friday video if I have like a Friday favorites I want to upload. I just want to focus more on quality over quantity and do more tutorials, get ready with me, maybe fashion videos and just put more time into them rather than just kind of cranking them out. So I will have a video up every Sunday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and then the occasional Friday video. So if you guys follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I will definitely post every time I upload so you guys can know. So my first favorite would definitely have to be the e.l.f. matte lip colors. I just posted a picture of these on my Instagram, but I have really been loving these. Previously, I had only owned one of them, and it was in the color Coral, and I really liked it. So when they had their sale and I did my e.l.f. haul, I picked up a couple more of them. I have all of them except one, but I, I think they're amazing. If you guys are into matte lip colors, it can be really hard to find affordable matte lip products. They just, they're not, there's not a ton of them. So if you are looking for something affordable, I think that matte lips are so fun and so pretty for spring, especially because four out of six of the colors are super natural. I think they're super natural looking, not super natural, but I think the fifth one is actually natural looking as well, and then there's one red. This is probably one of my most favorite, like my favorite of all of my favorites that I've tried this month, and it is the Bronzing Powder by Jane Cosmetics. I don't own a lot of products by Jane Cosmetics. I think I only own two because I got them both from my friend Abby from Color Swept Beauty in a swap that we did, and she sent me this bronzer. She said that she loves it, and I love it so much. I've been using it nonstop. I think that it's such a pretty shade. It is a little dark, but of course you can just use a light hand and bronze up your skin, and it has the like a really really subtle amount of shimmer so it's not too much but it still gives you a little something extra I just think it's absolutely beautiful I love the quality of it it doesn't go on patchy it goes on so smoothly and I am excited because I think I'm going to try out more Jane Cosmetics I don't really know a whole lot about Jane Cosmetics so if you have any recommendations leave them in the comments below because I really really love this bronzer another face product that I've absolutely been loving this month is my NARS one night stand palette I think this is still available I thought it was limited edition but when I was on Sephora.com recently, I saw it, and it comes with four blushes, a bronzer, and a highlighter. I've been using these so, so much. I love the Laguna bronzer. I had never tried it until I got this palette, and I love the orgasm blush and the highlighter. They are all so beautiful. They are so pigmented and so pretty, and now I know why people love their NARS blushes. I think that this palette is a great deal if you haven't tried NARS blushes or bronzers, or you're wanting to expand your collection. I've been using two mascaras together. The first one is by Pop Beauty, and this is their Smoky Lash Kapow in number one Smoky Black. I think that I got this in an Ipsy bag, and it's really, really great. The wand is, I think it's meant to separate your lashes. I can't exactly tell by the wand. When I put it on, it does a really great job at thickening and separating, so it's just an all-around good mascara, but I've using it, I'm using it in combination with the Lorac Visual Effects Curling, Separating, and Lengthening Mascara. This mascara is a little strange. The first month that I used it, it was super, like you got so much product on the wand that it was too much. But this does a really great job at just adding a lot of drama to my lashes. It lengthens them and it thickens them. So I like to use this first just to separate them. And then I put this on just to make them a little bit so longer. So I have two hair care I've been favorites. using the Numi Hydrating Intense Oil. This is the Hydro Punch Oil. 
I'm, I'm not sure if they still sell this exact oil. If I find it, I will link it below, but I got this a long, long time ago, and I found it when we were moving, so I decided to start using it, and it is amazing. My hair feels so soft. I use about a quarter size amount, since my hair is pretty long, when it's damp after I comb it. I rub it through my hands and just put it all in the ends of my hair, probably from like here down before I blow dry it. I try to let it mostly air dry and then I just blow dry it in the end if I have to go somewhere. But it makes your hair so soft, so frizz free, and it really just helps to add some life back into I'm definitely your hair. going to have to repurchase this. I mean, I have quite a bit left, but I hope they still sell it on the website. If they do, I'll link it down below so you can check it out. Any oil would work, I'm sure, but this one is just, it's been working extremely well for my hair. It doesn't weigh it down, which is something that's really important when it comes to hair oils. So my next hair favorite is this straightener. I got this from flatironexperts.com, and I was looking for the exact name. I'll link it down On below. On the outside, it just says QT Performance Hair Styling, but this is amazing. This has replaced my Chi. I, I got a Chi a long time ago, and I was using that because I thought that was like the best of the best. This straightener is a million times better. I wish I could convey to you guys how much I love this. I'm going to use it in a video. I'll probably film a video using it so you can see how well it actually works. But I've never been one of those people who could curl my hair using a straightener. I still can't do it because I don't really have the technique down. I need to watch some YouTube videos. But sometimes I want to put like a little bend in the ends if I'm wearing my hair a little more natural and I just want to like frame my face a little bit better. With my chi, I couldn't do that because it would get stuck and then I'd have a weird crimp in my hair. This has really nice like rounded ends on the actual flat iron. So it just, it glides through the hair so nicely. If I want to twist it and turn it, it works extremely well. And I just, I love this flat iron. It gets my hair so straight and I don't have as many frizzy pieces and it just, it works really, really well. I know there are literally like a million flat irons on the market so it can be hard to choose one and I thought my chi was really, really great until I used this one. This one is amazing. I seriously am obsessed with it and the cord is insanely long, which is always important to me when I'm doing my, my hair. My skin has been insanely dry, which is not typical of my skin at all. Normally it's oily, but since it has been so cold, it, it's just been so dry and I ran out of my moisturizer, so I was not smart and I used my husband's moisturizer on my face, which is obviously made for men. and. My skin had, I don't know if I had like an allergic reaction, it just wasn't smart, I don't know why I did that, but it became extremely dry and just kind of like patchy, and I couldn't find something to improve the quality of my skin. I thought I was going to have to go to the dermatologist, so I was going through my samples and I found this one by Dr. Jart Plus. This is the Ceramidin Cream, I think that's how you pronounce it, but I went online, I looked up some information about this, and it's supposed to be really, really good at just adding moisture back into the skin and keeping your skin hydrated and it is amazing. I cannot even explain to you guys how dry my skin was and this, I, I used most of the sample, but it just, I used it every morning and night and it made my skin back to normal. It made it better than normal and it's not even as oily as it had been previously. So I think I'm going to purchase the full size, but if you struggle with intensely dry skin, you have to try Something this. Something else that I used since my skin was so dry, I normally just cleanse my skin with Dove soap. It's like bar soap. It's the sensitive, unscented because my skin is so sensitive my dermatologist recommended me to use that but since my skin was so dry I just felt like that was drying it out even more so I found this in my beauty stash it is by Julep it's the bare face cleansing oil and I've seen people talk about this but I always figured since I had oily skin this wasn't something that was meant for me basically you just rub it in your dry hands and put it on your dry face to cleanse your face of all the makeup the dirt the oil so I had just been using this to clean now my face. Now that my skin's kind of returned back to its normal state, I'm still using this and I, I love it. I think that it's been keeping my skin so hydrated. I've been using it for like two weeks and I've only used that much. I think there's a so couple cleansing oils that people really like here on YouTube, so I'm going to have to look into that. But if you have any cleansing oil recommendations, make sure you leave them in the comments below because I would love to check so them out. So those are all my favorites for the month of March. Definitely leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys have been loving and I cannot wait to film some more videos. I will slowly get things settled. I'll get the lighting down, the sound down, everything like that. But thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I really appreciate it. I hope that April goes really well for you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.